Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, ladies and gents, and welcome back to Frostpunk and the Refugees. So, I decided that Frostpunk is one of those games that is actually easy enough for me to record, where I think I can put out two playthroughs of the story of different storylines. So, we're going to be putting out Ark videos and the Refugee videos. So safety of the generator was reserved for the wealthy we seized it so we could build a city where people are equal but can we accept everyone who comes to seek shelter oh dear god this is not gonna go well we were condemned to die with the rest of the common folk when london was destroyed but we rose up we commandeered the ships that were meant to carry the wealthy to safety and sailed north here we found a generator and claimed it for ourselves. Now we must gather all our people in the new city before the lords arrive to rob us of our freedom once again. We will never submit. Right oh. Does that mean I have to fix it? I think this might be the one I have to fix. That does not look functioning. As in not even just like not turned on, but not functioning at all. After we stole after the ships we stole from the lords got stuck in the frozen ocean we head out in small groups towards the generator most of our people are still on the trail they have less than two weeks of supplies and the weather is getting worse every day we must do everything we can to make sure they all get here safely righto let's go ahead and pause before we go any further oh we can just turn that on okay well that's uh, easy enough then Right, we need coal and we need wood. And we need steel. Harvest away. Ooh, purpose. Oh, is that the the no, that's not. Is that the Is that both? Is that both the religion avenue and the more aggressive avenue? I genuinely can't remember. Interesting. I thought I'd never seen that one before, but I, it kind of looks like both, to be honest with you. Because the other one, the guards were called the Faith Keepers. Workers needed. There's so much to do and not enough hands to do it. A quick way of addressing this is put our children to work. Uh. Yeah, so we'll just, we'll put them into, like, engineering present apprentices. They'll find that fun enough. At least 250 people must survive. Away incoming refugee groups. One, oh, there's ten of them? <gasps> okay, that's quite a lot. Right, let's start. We need tents. And we need medical posts. What we don't need, actually, are they, are they just wood? They are just wood. Right, we don't need steel. We only to help carry coal. I think you're less likely to get hurt on that. End of shift. Go rest all you can. Oh, balls, no. Let me do that. Need it next to the road. Right, there you go. You all have somewhere to live now. So the hunter's hut and we need a cookhouse. And here come the first group of survivors. So we need how many people does that fit? Ten. So we need twenty wood. First group of refugees, the first group is finally here. We're relieved to learn that the, the trail is still negotiable. They saw another group behind them who should arrive sooner. Wonderful. I thought. Oh, I. Uh, balls. I have like two adults there to supervise. <laughs> Put them in non-dangerous jobs, hopefully. Right, let's build that should do that. And then uh we are gonna need a workshop to do some research. End of shift. 
because we need to get bunk houses. Yes, I know we need to get a lot of stuff. We've actually got a really decent amount of resources to uh, to work off. This isn't too bad at all. Then we need oh, a destroyed transport containing some steam cores. A few of them look like they're still in working order. Huh. Okay, well, we don't need them right now, so let's just focus on uh, getting more wood. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, we need to do that, then you do that, and then you... Nope, I want... There we go, and we're going to need to pop some people in there. Well, we're doing fine on coal, so let's use those people. There we go. Actually, we could do that straight away. And then get the longer shift. We're never going to use it, so it's not that bad. It is not that bad. Protective mother. Mother refused to let her daughter work. She's afraid she'll get injured. We could look the other way, the other way this time, but others might see it as unfair. Yep, no exceptions. Sorry. They will soon be helping out in the uh, in the workshop, so it Break shouldn't be a issue. Damn, that's not going to go back up. That's a thing. Okay, okay, we need heating. Go. That is not going to warm up. No, I think heating and bunk houses and then the um, beacon can sod itself for a while. Okay, so we get four, four we get four steam cores in total. That's not too bad. It's off time. Another group arrives at Wonderful. I can see we are going to run out of space pretty damn quickly. Hear me, hear me. What do I have to do to get that apprentice thing? Oh, I can't. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's a thing. Okay. We are actually more likely to need steel than anything else because we're having to build bunk houses eventually if the cold is just going to keep on doing what it's doing. <sighs> I suppose we can do it. Fine, whatever. How much are. 50 trees. Not a problem. Double rations for kids. In the wake of recent child work accidents, parents are argued that we could give child working children double the rations to make them stronger and prevent injuries. That is not a bad idea. That is not a bad idea at all, actually. I can I can live with that. Yeah, I can live with that. I can certainly live with that. That's nearly done. Wonderful. And do the first upgrade. Several families have reached the city. Unfortunately, some of their children got lost to the trail or near the trail bend. We are they are distraught and beg you to help them. Ah, uh, crawls. They won't be left on their own, don't worry. They won't. Right, we need more tents. And we don't have enough wood to do it. Uh, let's put the children on the coal piles. Where they are less likely to get hurt. Work time. Get back to work. And now we can do bunk houses, go. And then medical output, and then the medical upgrade. 
11 days left. We can do that. That's not bad. That's not difficult at all. Okay, how much are they? 20. Okay, not bad. Uh, right, so let's go and do the beacon. Might have to open a second uh, medical outpost here. Uh, yes. Kind of going to need to get to the infirmary at some point, I think. And we're also going to need some better food gathering, which means flying hunters. End of ship. Now the group Don't arrives, more than a dozen people have reached the city. They're exhausted and frozen to the bone there due to set up the beacon. Why haven't you built it already? It's a miracle we found it all. Found our way at all. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I'm currently researching the beacon, so you can shut the hell up. Oh, no, I'm not currently researching the beacon. I've already researched the beacon. I just haven't built it. No longer lost and blind. Yeah. Problem is... There, uh, one day out. I am now having the issue of this is going to cost me a goddamn fortune. <laughs> and also, don't have enough resources to set up a team. Oh my goodness, Nickers, it is day eight already. My god, that has gone by fast. Bloody hell. And it's about to get colder. Wonderful. Just what I don't need. <laughs> Just what I don't need. Jesus Christ. What you need is more wood. What you need is more wood. What you need is a wall drill. Because it's a much easier shortcut than bothering with the uh, sawmill. What you need is a wall drill. Why are we out of that 20 wood? Are we harvesting wood? Oh crap. Don't tell me we've run out. Oh, that's not good. That is very, very not good. So what, what do I need? I need 20 and I have 12. So we need to dismantle a house. And even then, I'm not entirely sure I'm going to have what I need to build it. I definitely don't have enough to build a scout crew. This is going to get interesting. As always, ladies and gents, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for your support. And I'll see you on the next episode of The Refugees.